So we've all heard slogans like, give life, it's in you to give. I don't need to motivate you on the importance of blood to our existence. But my question for you is, why would we waste such a precious gift like blood? Believe it or not, a lot of blood is wasted during transfusion procedures, and minimizing blood wastage has been the motivation for my research. Blood is irradiated in chambers containing X-ray or gamma radiation sources to prevent transfusion-associated diseases. Blood is considered irradiated and safer transfusion when it has received 25 to 50 grays of radiation. No more, no less. Presently, the amount of radiation received by blood bags is indicated using these tags called rad tags. They change color from red to black once a minimum radiation of 25 grays has been received. But the problem with that method is, how does one conclude or a technician conclude based on the color black that the blood hasn't been over irradiated? Over irradiated means it has received over 50 grays, is now unsafe for transfusion, and needs to be disposed. Imagine having a device that measures and displays the exact amount of radiation received in real time. Our team has been, work, has been developing this tiny, low-cost, wireless bachelor's scent device with an inbuilt sensor chip to replace those rat tags. But for that device to be complete, it needs an antenna, and that's where I come in. I am working on flexible antenna designs that work well in the blood environment because antennas and blood just don't mix. My antennas are inkjet printed on thin, flexible layers to ensure the device conforms to the body of the blood bag. Like Harry Potter's invisibility cloak, which is a meta material, I am modifying the properties of these layers using those squares to fold the antenna into behavior like it's not close to blood. For this, with using these antennas, the device will be able to send real-time measurements of the radiation received. It won't stop there. It will also switch off the machine at the right time. It can take up to 50 donors to save a single car crash victim. Replacing those tags with our automated set devices, we can reduce human error, prevent transfusion-associated diseases, and significantly reduce blood wastage because every life counts. Thank you.